Uh, I, this is how I do it in Photoshop, but I don't know if other programs have something similar. Uh, so basically, I, this is just the normal round brush. Every program should have this. Um, you can do this without a tablet. I actually have a video on my YouTube channel about that. It's just you do pen pressure with the pen tool in Photoshop, which I think some other places have. You come out, get back in there. No, get over there. Okay, so in brush settings, you want to increase the spacing by a lot. So the dots will be further apart. That's step one. Next step, uh, in the shape dynamics, there is a roundness jitter, which, yeah, so you see how the pictures, they get a little bit more ovally. I mean, it's not perfect Christmas lights, but so you can kind of get some variety. And if you have these settings, like you can set it to, if I press really hard, then I get it more circly, and if I don't press then more ovally. Then color dynamics. So I changed the color. Um, I picked just two kind of far apart colors. So red and yellow. Uh, I guess you could have gone complimentary. I don't know. I just picked two colors. So then made the hue, which is this really high. So it means it's going to pick really randomly from the hue. And then I bumped up the saturation a lot just so they're bright and colorful. And then you have Christmas lights. That's how I did it. <laughs> so it's kind of a shoddy, cheap way. It doesn't, I, I mean, it's nice for something quick like this, but if you want them to look good, you might want to do something different, but it works for what it is, I guess. That's what I did.